Dunray was the site of the development of the uh, fast reactors for the UK. Decommissioning really only started on this reactor as the site was taken over by the NDA in the mid-2000s. So, so the actual focus on the decommissioning of the reactor, the removal of the remaining fuel elements, has uh, really only been focused on for the last 10 years. We have approximately 1,000 elements within the reactor vessel. In the 70s, approximately a third of this uh, inventory had been uh, removed. A number of um, problems occurred with the, uh, the quality of the actual fuel elements, and this process stopped. This reactor was built in the 50s when there was absolutely no consideration of decommissioning whatsoever. As a result, we've had a lot more challenges than we've had with PFR, the next generation of fast reactor on site. To actually allow us to defuel the reactor, we've had to introduce new infrastructure that actually allows us to go down and extract fuel elements. The first phase is removing approximately 700 of these elements, and these elements from camera inspection have shown to be relatively undamaged. Our next phase is for the partial fuel to be removed and any of the damaged fuel. We receive elements from the reactor, we cut the cladding off. The cladding and the fuel are then uh, washed. We weigh them and package them, um, load them into a flask. Uh, from the flask, we then transfer them out. There's several checks that we need to do on the flask to make sure it's, it's, it's able to be shipped off site and meet transport regulations. Every element is different depending on where it's come from within the reactor. They've had different histories. Some of them have got different amounts of alkali metal coolant on them and that creates a kind of slightly different process for, that has to be tailored for each element depending on uh, what we find. As part of the hazard reduction this is um, something that makes the site safer as a whole but actually carrying out the work um, there are hazards involved, there's a lot of lifting operations. We've got reduced contamination, we've got um, gas control, we've got alkaline metals, things like that. We've got to make sure we can continually um, control in, a, in a, a safe manner. Yeah, it's very important that we comply with the, the requirements of our regulators. DFR is actually a, a unique reactor. The actual configuration of it, it's, it's not seen elsewhere. It's a unique series of challenges. The Breeder Project, it's a significant hazard reduction. It's a critical path for DFR programme. I'm very impressed with the work that's been done with local enterprises to build the uh, equipment to take this fuel out of the reactor. That working relationship has been very positive. This project is part of a wider NDA strategy to remove fuel from all of our reactors. That's quite fundamental. It means that lots of sites have to work together to achieve this end, uh, and Dunray has really held up its, its end of this equation. The team have got a really challenging uh, project to move forward with. Not only is it the removal of the easy to remove elements, they've got to design and produce the equipment to remove some of these elements that have swollen and stuck in the reactor plates. Uh, so they've got a challenge on a day-to-day -day basis moving forward for the next few years.